It's now been a week since Lou Eleni and Cora moved down to the release site here in Savo National Park. I'm keen to see whether they've really settled into life in their new home. And the midday mud wallow is where I'm hoping to find out. A week ago, our two little elephants from Nairobi, Lou Eleni and Cora, didn't want to know about this mud wallow. It was just like, oh, that's far too dirty for us. But look now, they're just having the time of their lives. They have slotted in to the routine here at Ifumba perfectly. And I could get very muddy any minute. But you know, the beauty of the whole system is that those little elephants from Nairobi, <laughs> they make the transition. They learn how to be little elephants, and then they're brought here. And they graduate to Ithumba, which is where eventually they will go back to the wild. And I am certainly going to need a bath after this. I should have guessed that that friendly little elephant under all that sticky mud was Luelani. And I reckon that says it all about how well she's taken to her new life. There are 24 young elephants living here, all growing up strong and healthy and preparing for a life back in the wild. And ultimately, the benefits they bring to this environment will be immense. All the wild elephants were poached out of this area in the 80s, but the presence of this herd of orphans will help to encourage the elephants back. They'll open up game trails and promote the growth of grasslands, making Ithumba a better place for all the Savo wildlife. We've seen five little elephants move down here from the nursery in the last few months, and it's great to know that they're all thriving in their new home. But I can't help wondering how Luelani's little friend McKenna is getting on without her. Do you know, I reckon Luelani leaving is the making of McKenna. Suddenly she's realised that there's more to life than sucking Luelani's ear. She's become a lot more independent in the last couple of days. You can see a lot more feisty. She's even beginning to mother little Chulu here. In fact, I think that when it's her time, she's going to be a fabulous little mini matriarch. McKenna is growing up quickly and proving how resilient she is. But the little elephant who's made the most progress is Shimba. He's bursting with energy out with the herd every day and sticking like glue to his neighbour and now adoptive mum, Loijok. Being the tiniest, the keepers all adore him. But Shimba is totally devoted to Loijok. Despite what he's been through and the fact that he's only a couple of months old, Shimba loves to wrestle with some of the bigger bulls in the herd. And if he's not rolling around with the boys, then a roll in the dirt will do just as well. But it's bedtime, which says so much about how little Shimba has fitted into life with his new family of people and elephants. He's so attached to Loijok that he tries to sneak into her stable to spend the night with her. But round here, it's strictly one elephant per stable and Shimba is tempted back to his own room with a warm bottle of milk. But Loijok is only next door. 